Hello, Kitty. In the last video, we spoke about using reference photos to help us complete the picture we've imagined for our comic book panels, so that we end up creating convincing drawings. I learned this from observing other people's works. The drawing doesn't have to look realistic for it to be convincing. It just needs to show a few details that look familiar in the real world. In this panel, I had to pay attention to the shape of the rocks and the way light pierces through the darkness. The contour of the rock formations may look arbitrary, but there are certain shapes and sizes that make it look more natural. It's hard to explain, but it's quite easy to spot. When you look at it and something doesn't feel right, then you know you have to redraw it. I also looked up reference photos of cave paintings to figure out how to sketch them convincingly. The reference photos I collected show that cave paintings mostly appear in russet color with a carbon stick outline. But because cave paintings are ancient, the colors appear spotty and faded or even moldy in certain areas. This particular observation was what determined the medium I ended up using for our big book project. But before I even started drawing the first panel of the book, I had to research on the right pencils to use. So I went and bought individual pencils that came close to the colors I was looking for. Then I made a few test sketches with them to see which one looks the most convincing. The cave painting is a small detail on this panel, but because we acquired real-world information on how actual cave paintings look like, we are able to make this simplified sketch look like it belongs in the scene. Ultimately, what we want is to pull the reader into our imagined world without them noticing that they've suspended their reality to follow our story. Alright, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later.